Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Andy Outdoors. On this episode I'm going to be taking a look and an unboxing of the new ECB Fire Dragon stove. With This operates on gel fuel but it can also be operated on hexi blocks. I'm a big fan of the hexi blocks and the hexi stoves so I thought I'd buy this and try it out. The price varies on the internet but um, I bought these from my local uh, hiking, hiking shop which is called uh, Little Mountain in Prestatin. Uh, the burner, the actual stove was £2 and for six blocks of gel that was £2.50. Now it does say, and there's, there's the gel blocks, it does say on this that it can be used in all weather conditions, you can use this as hand cleanser um, the reviews that I've seen so far on it have been excellent so I just thought I'd bring it along today and try it out. So the actual the actual stove looks like this. Uh, if you open it up you get a windshield and this is uh, this I'm quite impressed with. It has a uh, little indentations where you can actually set set it to so it does say on here that's out so that goes on the outside just like that and you collapse it down and that's it built now as far as the um, hexi blocks are concerned let's see if they fit in there as I suspected they don't fit properly but you could probably get two in there and I found that with most uh, conditions that I use it in I'm using this little pan today but my bigger pan I usually use two blocks and depending on wind as well so without further ado let's get some gel in it fire it up and try it Okay, so I've just opened it up so I can shower some sparks on it. Let's see if we can get it going with a uh, fire step with a ferrous rod. Okay, well that's it. That took quite a long time, but it is lit now. So I'll just turn it round like that. And let's get some water on. Let's see how long it takes. For it to boil some water. There we go. Stopwatch has started. They reckon it can do it in eight minutes, so we'll see. They do say that this is supposed to be a cleaner, cleaner burn. So we'll see uh, how true that is. We're up to, let's have a look here. Two minutes 30. It's already starting to steam a little bit. Any bubbles forming? A few little bubbles forming. hardly any wind today it's just a small breeze so I will have to do a field test with it as well now I will have to say I'm pretty impressed because it's six minutes 
just over six minutes, 16 minutes, 15 seconds, and we've got a rolling boil. So, I think that's good going, and there's still quite a bit in there to be burnt off. So, quite impressed with that. Like I say, conditions today, there's no wind at all, trees aren't even moving. So, next thing to get a brew on I suppose. So I've got my array of oxos, I think we'll go for a purple one which is lamb, we've got chicken and beef. Well, it's 9 minutes 23 seconds. Nine minute thirty, and it's still burning. But it'd be interesting to see what kind of residue it leaves behind it. Let's have a look at the bottom of the pan. So yeah, not that clean burning. Still sorts things up. That's an easy way to get rid of that. Find a bit of grass. That's a bit mossy here as well. That's clean most of it off. Too bad. Um, ten minutes. Focus. Ten minutes forty. Uh, it's just about gone out now. Yeah. So eleven minutes. Near as damn it for a burn, which is pretty impressive. Cheers. One thing I just wanted to show you folks, well, I've never experienced this before, so new product, look at that, absolutely clean, and this looks like maybe some kind of plastic or certainly not paper, it's very brittle. Absolutely brilliant.